Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can apply custom CSS to your Chrome, to your Firefox web browser. Okay, so you guys can see over here, this is Firefox and I have the default theme that's over here, nothing crazy. Um, but just in a minute, I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and where you can add your CSS files and everything you need to do to customize um, your browser. All right. So first what you want to do is make sure you have the option enabled and the way to do that is you want to go to about colon config. Okay, so once you do this, you will get a message saying proceed with caution and you just want to, it's fine to do accept the risk and continue. All right. Next what we want to do is search for toolkit toolkit legacy yeah, yeah, legacy user profile customizations slash style dot style sheets. All right, and you just want to make sure that this is enabled to true. Okay, by default it is false, right? And what you want to do is you can just double click it to um, toggle between true and false. So once we have this true, next what we want to do is go to about colon support. So that's, this will just give you some information about the Firefox, what version you're running, and just a little more information about your device and Firefox itself. All right, uh, what we want to do is find this profile finders setting, and we want to open the folder. Okay, so this basically is the folder where we're going to be putting our style sheets um, for Mozilla or to, for Firefox to read. All right, so now that we're here, we want to first look for a folder called Chrome, oddly enough, um, which is, yeah, it's kind of weird, but you know, we have to find. If you don't have one, you can just create one. So new folder and just name it Chrome. All right, now here is where you're going to add your style sheet file, right? Um, I have one already downloaded and it is the one right here. So this is just basically a CSS file which will allow for the tabs to be in multiple rows. Okay, so let me just show you the code real quick of what it is. It's pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Um, how do I close this? All right, so you guys can see this is it's just a couple lines of code, right? And it's just um, basically it's pretty much simple CSS. All right, nothing too crazy. All right, so let's minimize that. Um, now we have it set over here in this location. So first we're in this dash release folder and in the, here is where we created our Chrome folder and within the Chrome folder is where we have our CSS files. All right, so now let's um, minimize this and we will restart Firefox. So just to show beforehand, um, let me just open up a bunch of tabs. You can see all these tabs are just opening up um, next to each other and basically nothing is um, happening. So what we want first, obviously, close Firefox and then we're going to restart it. Not now. All right, so you can see this slightly altered look where it has this over here, right? And let's open up a bunch of tabs. So you guys can see now it went to the next, it's, it's basically allowing for multiple rows. And I believe this CSS has it limited to three rows because obviously you, uh, three rows that display because obviously you don't want um, it to be like half the, <laughs> half the web browser with just tabs. All right, so it's three and then it scrolls, right? Um, so that's basically it. You guys can see the CSS changed the way the tabs look, right? And just the way the whole browser looks um, in itself. So obviously you can do more custom, a lot more customizations with this. So, you know, just do your research. Do You can basically customize it to however you like, which is really nice. So yeah, let me know what you guys thoughts are. I hope you liked this video and it helped. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. If you like to, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.